Hey guys, Fishy here, and it's time for another legitimate live troll hunt tonight from the Unfakery channel. Last night I did one from the Facebook page that I have, just my own page, and I thought it was a good idea to do that to grab people who may never come to the Unfakery page, who haven't liked it, who haven't been, um, I guess, uh, inundated with Unfakery content. They haven't quite. Uh, been deluged with everything I've been putting out but they might have seen something that goes in my feed and it might reach them whereas Unfakery didn't. Last night we looked at who was sending content to Americans in Facebook groups, Facebook pages, uh, Facebook groups that are um, typically uh, Trump related, Trump uh, you know that like Trump, that support Trump there are a whole bunch of different um, entities, people from different countries that are pushing content at Americans. And you see in the news a whole bunch about, say, the guys that are uh, in Russia or related to Russia in Iran or places like that. You see all the, the high profile ones where people are making the case that uh, the Russians have been compromising American politics. And I can't really speak to that because I don't have the, the skills, the ability, the information that goes with that. Um, if Russian trolls were out there and I were to stumble upon them, it's very likely that I would not see and I would not notice them. They would be invisible to me because I'm not trained to look for those things. And I guarantee you aren't either. And so while you may find some obvious uh, fakes out there that mess up with their language and whatnot, the majority of Russian trolls and fake accounts and fake profiles and fake pages and fake groups, I think would be undetectable by most of us. We'd rely on these platforms to look at that stuff. So if you didn't get a chance to see that video, uh, go to the YouTube channel or go to my Facebook page or go to the Unfakery page and get to check that out after we're done here. It is an eye-opening half hour of just what kind of content is going into different groups. And I will repeat that exercise regularly so that people can see that um, in different groups, but same tactics over and over. And we'll chart the progress and see how those things are done. In the meantime, though, I wanted to tell you about someone that I've already covered months ago in a YouTube video that I made about this topic and it is this troll from the left, a liberal troll that actually creates fakery and puts it out there and conservatives consume it and get fooled by it. And there's a lot of pieces to this. There's a lot to unpack, but I want to introduce you to the page that this comes from. This is America's last line of defense and it is the Facebook page that was the accompaniment to some websites that Christopher Blair had actually used. And I'm gonna wait till this stupid thing loads. Um, my, I didn't log in before I started these again, so I've gotta do that real quick. <laughs> oh, but anyway, Christopher Blair had a bunch of sites that were networked together with Facebook pages, things that you could see. And I'll show you under this particular tab here we have, uh, it's a bundle, one of the bundles that I was tracking early, early this year in January. And in January, I was looking through, trying to match up uh, a bunch of pages. Where were they coming from? Were there networks involved? And I found maybe a dozen different networks that were pushing content from different pages different websites. They were really doing a whole amazing amount of work capturing American Trump supporting attention. And uh, I hate that this is not working fast enough. All right. But um, I tracked a lot of these and one of the bundles that I found turned out to be somebody that was researchable and findable. And we will increase the visibility here. I forget to do that sometimes so that you can see better what I'm up to. All right, no, <laughs> sorry, this is chaos already unleashed. 
But here we are, Christopher Blair Bust to Troll. That's the name he's gone by. And America's last line of defense is the page we just looked at here. America's last line of defense. So he already had a page for it. And then he had these different sites, Potatriot Post, dailyworldupdate.com, which sounds like it would be like a, a legitimate news source. Um, the last line of defense we've looked at already, ladiesofliberty.net, L-O-L. Uh, no Fake News Online, which is still operational. Daily World Update, which also sounds, oh, well, we did that one here. Uh, Sheratonin, I guess, which is a play on serotonin. And Reagan was right. As American as Apple Pie. And God Loves America Most. So these are the different sites that he would reach. He had, at that time, 138,417 people following that page in January. Now we are up to 215,000. So he's had some growth since then, almost 100,000 more. Um, here are the other Facebook pages he had and still does have, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken. Freedom Junction, America Love It or Leave It, American Ladies of Liberty, America Loves Donald Trump, Daily World Update, As American as Apple Pie, No Fake News Online, Reagan was right. So we've seen all of those. When I started checking these out, it was on these sites. He would have the different, uh, where is that one? No fake news online that I said was still up. He would have articles posted there. Oh, well, it looks like it's down. Um, but he would have articles posted there and people would go and read the articles, pass them around, or they would just share based on the headline. And at the bottom, it had this beautiful rated S for satire section. And so if you didn't read all the way down, if you weren't skeptical when you read it, you at least had the chance to go and find the disclaimer down there. And I'll get into why that's important later, but here on the page, America's last line of defense, which is where he's mostly concentrated his efforts lately. It's nothing on this page is real. It is a collection of the satirical whimsies of liberal trolls masquerading as conservatives. You have been warned. And so every post on this page comes with this disclaimer that nothing on the page is real. It tells you that. So when we look at some of the photos that have come up here, this is what we find. Here are a whole bunch of albums with a lot of photos uploaded here, and they're current. He's decided instead of writing articles, which is, you know, very difficult, and there's another reason why not to do it anymore, um, and I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. In a minute, what's happening is he's doing the memes because they share faster. He's doing images because people will take them and run with them. Here's one that Andrew Gillum says, when he wins governor of Florida, his people will be getting paid back for slavery. I saw that one going around in several groups and people reacting as though Gillum actually said it. But you know, he didn't because everything on this page is untrue. He's already told you that. So any one of these things would be something that he would be trolling people for and it's all fake and people share it around and what's interesting is that this sort of stuff gets repackaged repurposed that sort of thing so we're just going to flip through and see if we can find any that are uh, uh, i guess more familiar uh, than some other ones maybe you've seen these going along uh, going around, uh, mm, I was looking for a couple in particular, but uh, they might not be on here uh, organized this way. They might be somewhere else. But regardless, you can scroll through here, and most of what you see is stuff that has been uh, has a picture taken from somewhere else out of context. A person that is recognizable will be shown, and they'll be given a different name. Uh, somebody that you can find in an image search 
and it turns out to be somebody else. Like this one, uh, we'll open this one because I've treated this one on, on Fakery as well. This is, uh, this is Mama Say, Mama Kusa, a school principal in Richmond, Virginia. She has expelled two kids for wearing crucifix around their necks saying, there is no place for religion at a school. And this is absolutely not what this is. There's nobody by that name. If you searched, you would know that. But here's what they do. He puts this out and then a whole host of people start responding. And it's, it gets ugly. And his goal is to expose people who have a lot of um, feelings, we'll say, about Muslims, uh, school principal, wearing a hijab, whatever. I mean, this, this brings out the worst in some people. And the idea is to post this and then poke fun at people who take it seriously. And uh, Christopher Blair will do that all up and down um, on, the, on this page. So this is one of the images I've seen before. There's some that you might remember. There was a Wonder Bread CEO that was supposed to have uh, done something that was anti-Trump and, and people were jumping all over it. All of these have some image that does not match the story. The story that's created is created entirely uh, fictionally to place on top of this image. Uh, I was looking to see if we could just find that Wonder Bread or another couple of them, but he cranks these out so quickly. He's got so many. If he could monetize them easily the way he could when he had websites, uh, and could take ad revenue, then I'm certain he would. But in the meantime, he's still getting a very nice laugh out of a lot of conservatives taking the bait. And these are topics and, and ideas that conservatives would be um, definitely interested in discussing. But I mean, whether or not they've done, uh, you know, people are actually, I guess, engaging in uh, anti-Muslim sentiment or expressing thoughts they would online that they would never express in person. I'm not certain. Here's one, Yusuf al Jamanbred. He was shot in the stomach for supporting Donald Trump. Share if he's in your thoughts and prayers. Anybody recognize this face? I'm going to give it a few minutes. We're going to leave it on here and see if anybody can tell me who this is getting shot in the stomach for supporting Donald Trump. <laughs> and and if you if you read the comments, this is what's really great. Um, this guy says this country is completely lost. I don't even know what planet this is anymore. We might as well call it Planet Terror instead of Planet Earth. Uh huh. So just wondered if anybody had an idea of of what this is. Um, it's it's funny. It it's just. It's ridiculous, but it's, it's, this is the quality. This is the kind of content that he's putting out. And there are conservatives who are of a certain age who don't know the, the reference here, don't know who this guy is, don't know where they might have seen him before, uh, may never have seen him before. Um, but I'll leave that up and, and somebody I'm sure will tell you. And if not at the end of the show, remind me and I will, I will tell you who that is. But regardless, a whole bunch of these going around just like that, made up on the spot, put, a, you know, put over an image and sent out. And this is what Christopher Blair does. There's been one that was on the Russian war, uh, or not Russian war, the Korean war dead uh, being returned. And um, it was actually Russian soldiers that were being returned in the image. And so there's little things like that, little tricks like that as well. And um, here's one, notmypot.us. I am certain that he has gone out and got that, that website, notmypot.us, not my POTUS. Um, so, I mean, the guy's funny. I'm going to give you that. He's funny. He's, he's got a sense of, of humor, but the problem is 
what happens after he does this sort of content. He puts it out there. They have a great laugh. All the liberal friends of his have, you know, endless entertainment from it. But what happens after that? We have, oh, what happened here? I don't even know. All right, maybe that, oh, that's my search. Okay, never mind. What I found this week, and I think I can open that from here. Uh, what I found this week were a couple of death hoaxes. One of them was Henry Winkler, and our friend Martin at Lead Stories was right on top of that uh, days ago, well before I saw it, um, and had already debunked it and explained why. America's last line of defense. Uh, now using the domain name worstpot.us or worst potus. Uh, that's interesting. So when this actual file set comes up, I can show you what pieces I was talking about um, that he had, had put out. It wasn't just Henry Winkler. It was, and oh Lord of mercy, uh, it was Mr. T as well. So here's what we did with Henry Winkler and we checked this guy and stamped on it fake and made a gif out of it henry winkler donates half of his estate to maga 2020 and the site here is phoenixpost.site keep that in mind when we get here we see mr t uh, charles here shared it from conservativecolumns.com but i was talking to uh, somebody that I know, um, Alex Kaplan at uh, Media Matters for America. And Alex tweeted me that the Mr. T death hoax was from America's Last Line of Defense. Here it is. Mr. T passes away, leaves $4.5 million to the Trump Foundation and a letter. Well, when we go back and look at the image here, it says Mr. T passes away, leaves $4.5 million to the Trump Foundation and a letter. They have ripped it off entirely. And I think that's one of the reasons that uh, Blair has taken some of these down and decided uh, to stop the websites because too much of this has been going on where they've been stealing his content. Well, when it's just a meme, now all these guys are doing is putting some text under that. And we'll look at that post in just a second. Um, Faisal, I tracked to Pakistan. And uh, Charles here, I tracked to Macedonia. And that was pretty fascinating. Uh, when I go and look at the Henry Winkler one, it's the same image. And uh, 42 to two, uh, 2018 donates half of his estate to MAGA 2020. And right here, it's the same image, it's the same everything. They've just put another headline above it and shared it at Phoenix Post. So it's exactly the same. They've been ripping him off a whole bunch. And what happens is that these fakers from India, from Pakistan, from these other countries, Macedonia, Kosovo, what they do is they go find a whole treasure trove full of fakery like this they don't even have to work for it. They just put that stuff together, rip it off, and repackage it into these sites that I had showed you. Um, in fact, I looked up these guys, Charles and Faisal, and I checked what posts they had done. And my browser's loading a little bit slowly, but we'll see. Charles had, thank God for Mr. T. Here's the, the link. Uh, only a few people commented, but 13 reactions. People were seeing this going around. And I think they were thinking that, yeah, this is fake because we can Google. This, this is like the least worst fakery is a death hoax because you can check that out pretty quickly online. So here's conservative columns. They have stolen the page, uh, the image from the page, the title from the page. And then... Uh, they just put together some text. I don't know who did it. Um, I don't know if this was maybe from 
Christopher Blair, but we can find that out. Uh, worst pot dot us oh it helped if i actually yeah there we go let's see if it's listed there and if we find it at the worst potus site then i think what's clear is that they've stolen the article that went along with it and all we were seeing was facebook's uh, images where there's no story attached so i don't know why this isn't loading. Hmm. There must be a problem there. Or my browser is crap today. Um, let's see. Martin had that listed. Is it actually linked or not? Uh, oh, it's archived. So let's see the archive of Henry Winkler. This is his way of not giving any traffic there, I suppose. Flag Eagleton, are we serious? Yeah. It isn't satire until Snopes says it isn't. Okay. So, yep. Henry Winkler gone to that big bike shop in the sky to be with Big Al, Joni, Mr. and Mrs. C, and Ralph Mouth. Ralph Mouth. I didn't know Donnie Most was passed. Okay. Um, somebody tell me if he's passed, though. That's, that's something I would want to know. Uh, I've seen Faisal here shares in a whole bunch of places. Let's see. Henry Winkler, Phoenix Post site, um, shared to Donald Trump for president, President Donald J. Trump News, Donald J. Trump for the people, um, the Newly Press, which is a new one they're trying to get started. Um, so four places that Faisal has shared it. Let's actually look at the link at Phoenix Post. If you are a long time uh, viewer, I guess, of the Unfakery videos, you will note this particular, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It just went right out of my head. Um, oh gosh, template, that's it. Okay, template, sorry. You'll note this template. You've seen it before a hundred times if you've been watching my videos. Um, gone to that big bike shop in the sky to be with Big Al, Joni, Mr. and Mrs. C, and Ralph Mouth. Here we go. All right. So they've picked up everything completely from Chris, uh, Christopher Blair at uh, the site here. Uh, worst POTUS. Uh, yeah, worstpot.us or whatever. So yeah, they've, they've completely taken this stuff, scrubbed the disclaimers off, and sent it out there as though it was real. And look, this is how you know where, uh, where some income is coming from, because these guys are serving up some ads. Let's take the ad blocker and disable it and show you what that looks like. Oh, well, this is the, sorry, this is the wrong one. I wanted to get this one and take the ad blocker off of this one. To show the ads because Blair I don't think is able to do that on a archive <laughs> not at all but you'll see where ads are here here's a bunch right here um, let's see here's don't take away my reproductive care don't take away my Planned Parenthood whole bunch of Planned Parenthood ads there um, there's something from I don't know who that is uh, advertising there but yeah there's ads all up and down here this is what they're doing to make money to get some of uh, the revenue and they're essentially stealing the content from Christopher Blair taking off the satire label and repackaging it as though it were original and sending it out and I would bet you that Phoenix Post is not going to be the only place we'll find it I have so many sites that are linked to each other that have the same template that share the same content if i look at home on this one we'll see how many of them have we seen before uh, let's see are there any that are popping up new here rosie busted in campaign finance scheme that's something new um wikileaks hughes exposure these are the six republicans 
Hillary had bribed to destroy Trump. That is an old one. We've seen that over and over. FBI informant just pulled out a piece of paper on live TV that made Hillary Clinton shiver in fear. We've seen this stuff. These are all over the place. Every one of these sites has some of these. And they're all stealing content from Blair. Now, I want to talk about now what Blair's actually done with his content. You can talk about whether it's something positive or negative, but I want you to read in his own words what he says about what he does. This is an article about him. His fictional headlines reach 3 million people a week, and this troll lives in Maine. So this was July of this year this was written, and somebody sent this in. Um, I had added it to the links about Blair that I had. Online, he's Bust a Troll. In person, he's Christopher Blair, father of three. Um, do we put out headlines that aren't true? Yes. When you read the article, if you still believe it, there is something wrong with you. This is what he's doing. Uh, a self-proclaimed liberal troll, originally from Massachusetts. He's been publishing outlandish headlines since 2014. Ultimately, the goal became write articles that were so hyperbolically racist and demeaning and ridiculous that you would bring the worst of the worst into the comments. And it worked. They started coming out in droves and the things that they will say will get them banned from Facebook. So you can get a few racists banned from Facebook like you're having a good time. Well, isn't that fun? And so this is what he's about. Um, he believes the rise of the term fake news has given him a bad reputation. Uh, with media accusations that he's destroying America and undermining real journalism. I'm causing division, Blair said. Absolutely what I do can absolutely cause harm. Still, he believes his trolling has a greater purpose. Um, since Facebook's algorithm changed to combat fictional articles, his cash flow stopped, but he hasn't stopped trolling. He's changed the context of his page to be more liberal-based. The people that are on the page are more upset with us every day. Are we causing arguments and division? You're damn right we are. It's what we do. So he's admitting to you right here in this article what he's up to. And PolitiFact actually did sort of a rundown on him. And uh, if you're fooled by fake news, this man probably wrote it. This was written last year. And once I discovered this article, it really made a lot of sense. Um, I think Blair had some response to this particular article. Uh, or some other ones that are out there, but he admits that this is what he's doing. He is trolling conservatives. The good chunk of the population who believe aren't based in reality, Blair told PolitiFact. They're the people who buy the National Enquirer. Tucker Carlson doesn't just get killed, he gets murdered by a blackout, blacked out Ford Explorer. Um, and then PolitiFact says, we raided the Carlson story pants on fire. Yes, because PolitiFact will go and, and debunk the satire. And that's funny to people like me or like, why, why would they debunk satire? Except now you have to. Now the environment that we're in, you have to, you have to have somewhere out there on the internet that a thing that Christopher Blair has made is fake or people will blindly believe it. it, it it's a requirement now. Uh, now, Sarah's got a comment in the ads. If the ad, in the comments, if the ads are Google AdWords on plagiarism, a person can report that to Google. Google may revoke the ad privileges and hit them in the pocket. Yes, and that was one of the theories that I was going to talk about. I'm glad you brought it up. We'll get to that. Um, don't let me forget. Um, but I wanted to to at least show that there are articles about him. You can check his name out. Uh, Christopher Blair, if you do search on it, it will come up and explain who he is and what he's doing. And again, so much of the content in these groups is shared by people who have stripped away all of the, uh, the disclaimers and slapped new, maybe new visuals, or maybe they've just copied the visuals that they have here and thrown this out again. And the only way to track it down is to search. And that would make us better news and information consumers if we did that. The problem 
is that people don't do that. And so somehow the problem psychologically that we've got to figure out is what is it that makes people knee jerk react to things like this? Uh, whether it's Mr. T, which is you know, a death hoax is rather harmless for him, or whether it's something far, far more um, baity and nasty and divisive. I think that if Blair were the only one passing out content that looked like this and that felt like this, and if it was clearly marked as satire and people missed the satire label, then we could talk about um, oh yeah, he's punking people, but literally we've seen it right here on the screen tonight. Literally what he is doing is writing copy for all of the fakers out there that are stealing his stuff. And the two ways to stop that is for him to stop creating it, which I don't think he's going to do, or for him to do what he did before when he actually sued some of the fakers for copyright problems, for stealing his information. And I think Facebook could easily be aware of this. They see that the last line of defense has a page and they know that there's a website that goes with it and it is uh, worstpot.us. And those are not, you know, difficult to find and they can see the content reproduced exactly the headline reproduced exactly the way it was in the fake story there should be no question of being able to find that that post is fakery that that post is absolutely the uh, ripping off of a satire uh, article somewhere else. And they should be able to cut down on the advertising, but they also should be able to block the sites that do that. And I'm not certain why they don't. I, I don't understand that at all. Facebook has options here. Facebook has options that they could use to deal with this content. And if I show you the videos that I've made uh, that had to do with Christopher Blair. This is how many debunks I've done. And it's not nearly all the ones that I could have done. I could have just gone to his page every day and made content and let him feed me content and put that on the internet. But here we go. Death hoax, Henry Winkler down here. Um, fake news, Muslim principal in Virginia. Here's uh, the war dead, return of the Korean war dead. Uh, here's representative Paulson. Uh, let's see the fake news uh, share button. Fake Facebook removes the share button. Here's the last Christian church in Dearborn, Michigan. Here's the um, Trump Hollywood star vandal was arrested. That, that wasn't the case. It wasn't who they said it was. Um, New Hampshire congressman arrested for vandalizing presidential limousine. This was actually a comic book character that was named there. And that's how it goes. That's what he does. Here's Wonder Bread. Here is Wonder Bread. Let's see about our Wonder Bread guy. Um, Lamont Cranston. Anybody remember who Lamont Cranston is? It's the shadow. That's the name. And if you're not a, of a certain age or don't have any um, love for radio plays, you wouldn't know. But this says, we have ceased any dealings with the NRA as well as all other conservative companies. We feel America's children are more important than gun-wielding maniacs. Yeah, this wasn't the case at all. <laughs> that wasn't who that was, but it sold. It went around all over the place. It got a lot of shares. I was looking to see if on here we could actually see without going back to the video. I'll go back anyway. Um, I was looking to see if it showed how many shares we had at that time. Um, I don't think it did. And I don't think it did because um, the way it was so tall, it was hard to fit it all in into a real uh, square there. So mm, 
that's that's what we were looking at though troll video after troll video after troll video where i've gone in and said this is about christopher blair this is from christopher blair and me continuing to do it is the same as has the same effectiveness i think that martin continuing to do it has it puts that information out there in search so that people can see that maybe they're engaging in some fakery it gives them a chance in those search results to come up against um a debunk to see it to maybe cast some doubt in there but again that presupposes that people are going to go check this in the first place and we know they don't so part of the problem is we've got to teach people that there is a troll who is out there seeding fake stories to them and that they would better do some homework or they're going to be the victims of the hoax and they're going to look really stupid when the next person comes along and actually does the checking up they're going to share something like henry winkler died and left so much of his money to maga 2020 and then that never happens somebody comes along and sees that and says he's not dead look here's a quick search that shows you he's not dead and then that person has to deal with the consequences of having been seen to share fakery i i always go back and forth on this i think shame and embarrassment is one of the best tools to make people change their behavior but it's also one of the best ways to dig someone into an incorrect position because they will feel bad they will feel um resentment toward the person who showed them that they were wrong and i want them to feel that resentment and that shame around christopher blair doing this to them but the person that they're likely going to encounter that this is fake from is someone like me who's sharing debunks about this topic about this guy who is deliberately setting conservatives up and i say conservatives really loosely because when i think of conservatives i think of people who are ideologically able to say uh, articulate conservative values and not just kind of um i guess knee jerk to some trigger uh, issues that might come up but there are people who will bite no matter what when they see certain content of christopher blair's and my best hope is to make that name a household name make last line of defense a household name among conservatives pass the word on to people so that they know that this is happening and that's where the audience comes in that's where you come in there are people like media matters for america and like martin at lead stories and his hoax alerts and like us at, at unfakery that are trying to help people see that these are fake to give them the information that they are fake and and help them navigate that to look through some of these and see that yeah this this doesn't sound right i better go check this and that's the kind of thing like here's one uh emma gonzalez that's really britney spears from years ago I, it, it takes just a minute to look at an image like this and search on it and find out what it is all I have to do here is right click in my Chrome browser and hit search Google for image and it's going to come up and tell me who that is and if my browser gets it celebs fighting paparazzi well right here it'll show you in some of these fact check was Emma Gonzalez photographed Britney Spears infamous attack umbrella hitting the auction block so I mean through looking at a few links here you can find out um, that that's Britney Spears that absolutely back when she shaved her head it only took a minute but not a lot of people are doing that and again I don't know how we make people better at that um, it might be a you burn your hand on the stove uh, yes Reagan was right um, is one of the names of the sites by the way uh, Sarah Thompson and if you were saying Reagan was right as a slogan then uh yeah i get that too but right this is clickable stuff people are 
sharing this stuff loudly and and proudly in all the places that they go and how do you make people better news and information consumers I don't know I don't know other than to put the information in front of them and let them find it and to tell them over and over that this is a thing that this guy Christopher Blair is actively trying to get them to embarrass themselves and I don't have any hope of it actually sinking into too many people but I've got to say that I've tried I've got to say that I have pushed uh, as hard as I could to get people to do better to be more cautious about information they consume and it's so frustrating to see so many people falling for fakery like this all the time and it's such a quick fix and and yeah I was helping a group a particular group um, right yes Sarah okay I see got it Re the Reagan was right was the old name and uh, the name changed right yeah I'm there I, it redirects I think um, here he's got another site Trump betrayed dot us yeah so uh, mm -hmm. this is another way you can find his content Trump betrayed dot us and you'll see the same label the same banner up top as well um, so I don't know why he redirected all those sites but he likes to have kind of fun um, fun names of sites for him uh, and look he's even got a trust metric score proceed with caution this website generally fails to maintain basic standards of accuracy and accountability he is going to be upset that he doesn't have a satire label on his clearly labels advertising is the only thing he gets right from a news perspective but it's not news and they've treated it like news look at that news guard stop that um, Oh, interesting as American as Reagan was right is the new name ah interesting so right this is what this is what what he puts out it seems vets no longer care for us because we support Colin Kaepernick so we no longer care for them all veteran aid programs are terminated from Nike announcement do you really believe that's true I'm sure you don't but let's see how many shares we've got and what they say uh, does anybody comment or are they just sharing it click and share and sending it out Nike not only has colon cancer but now this take a knee Nike you're done this guy believes it mm, I just I don't know what to tell you this is on purpose but there's never a moment at which people have to come to deal with the reality if they've moved off his page if they are saying and Christopher Blair is saying that this stuff is made to poke fun at conservatives don't you think he has at some level some responsibility for what happens to the content once it's out of his hands if you make a site and you have a message board and you let people uh, comment there and whatever you've kind of contained it the satire is contained where you are putting this stuff out in very shareable clickable places don't you have some kind of responsibility for where it ends up most of the people who are now fooled by this stuff he'll never see he'll look here here's this one about um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez whatever her name is we'll never have to worry about China attacking us they are 12 hours ahead so we'll have plenty of time to shoot down their missiles and let's see how many people on the shares box of rocks he thinks that she's that stupid uh, who else thinks my pet rock is smarter than her I mean okay you can make fun of her for some of the things she said but there are real legitimate things that you can poke her with and this one is one of them but people are saying really she's that stupid and they're sharing it as though they wholeheartedly believe it and this is the thing this is the thing people believe this and there's never a moment 
in the environment they've sent they've set up for themselves where they get confronted with the fact that this isn't true and if you do say you know that's a made-up quote they're going to ask you to prove that it's a made-up quote well that's not how proof works and I cannot tell you how many arguments I've had with people saying that's not how proof works if you make an assertion you have to prove it I don't have to disprove it I can talk about your sources we can argue about it once you've shown us but no you don't tell me to disprove something you prove it first here again another one of the sites America's last line of defense so he's got a bunch of them and he's sharing them off of here and hundreds of people are sharing this content and again if there was always a satire um, notification on the articles then you could probably say all right this person is you know pulling our leg and if you fall for it then it's your fault right here on the archive diversion you can see he's got that uh, satire s rated and then he's got a definition of satire that he wants to put out there so people don't argue with him this is a clearly marked if hidden all the way down at the bottom of the page disclaimer and on his about pages they have a disclaimer as well you can check right here about it's going to have the same kind of disclaimer that the um, Facebook page has information you probably shouldn't trust right up here in the banner nobody's looking at that but it's their fault if they are not diligent and looking at this but once it gets to one of these once it gets here there's no satire there's no any kind of disclaimer uh, information it's just straight information pitched to people and you may talk about how foolish people are to believe something that looks like this that says it's the Phoenix Post is a legitimate news organization people who are coming and passing that around they're not seeing this you know what they're seeing they're seeing this they're seeing Phoenix Post dot site down here and they're probably not even seeing site they're seeing Phoenix Post oh that sounds like it's a legitimate news organization and they're just passing it along here's what these people say about Henry Winkler here's thank God Wallace is saying Henry Winkler is very much alive this is a hoax yeah I mean if this destroyed the credibility of people who passed it around I might I might be a little less upset about it but that's not what it's doing the environment that you find this content in is looking like this which looks no different by the way from when something is posted from ABC or CNN or Politico or uh, National Review any of those links look the same and are treated the same by Facebook as this one of the only tells that you can see that makes this kind of a different uh, type of view here this thing where you have some text in there uh, as though you were po posting a status on top of what the link would look like if you posted it by itself those two things in combination are a giveaway for some of these fakers that have seen but that's the only difference in the way it looks this is still here uh, just like any other link would be Facebook doesn't differentiate or say it's more or less um, uh, I guess uh, dependable or anything like that at all so this is the kind this is the kind of stuff that Christopher Blair puts out um, so I mean I'm open to suggestions of what we do about it but there's <laughs> there this is gonna be a thing and we should be having these conversations we should be talking about how the fact that this guy is trying to punk conservatives trying to punk them and make them look bad but the the repercussions go well beyond a little bit of momentary embarrassment in the comments because all that content's getting stolen 
all that content's getting reshared by people who think it's true. So I don't want to drag this on any longer, but I do want to recommend a couple things. I'm going to put the video that I shared, um, uh, the five minute on fakery that I did on Christopher Blair in the links after this is done. Um, and you can see kind of the bundles that we went through and some of the way that sites used to look. Uh, and I'll put the link to his page so you can see that as well. And hopefully you could share this, you could share the original video that I made and attempt to tell people what he's doing, showing at least the about section with the disclaimer on it and some of the debunks from people like Martin um, who have been so faithfully trying to put at least some truth in, into the world about this. But an entertaining safe haven from the real news of the day. <laughs> Uh, nothing on this page is real. It is a collection of the satirical whimsies of liberal trolls masquerading as conservatives. You have been warned. So we have been warned, but the danger is far bigger than I think we really thought about. So share this video, please. Post it on your page. Tell people that they need to see what's going on with Christopher Blair, who he is, what he's up to. And at least if conservatives won't be more careful for information's sake, for being accurate's sake, they might pay a little more attention if they believe that there is a liberal troll that's out there purposefully trying to make them look ridiculous. And that's the best I think we can hope for. In the meantime, please do everything you can. Help us push the unfakery page, get us a bigger audience. We are still struggling in, in trying to grow and reach more people. And the group I was helping to moderate, um, where I was getting a lot of my content, they have tossed me from the moderation uh, again, and I don't know why exactly, but I have some suspicions that one of the moderators that I told was sharing fake news did not like to be told that they were sharing fake news. So um, I've done what I could to try and, and help people, not just through videos like this, but on the ground in Facebook groups. and. Uh, that's the thanks I get. <laughs> so, so frustrated. But thank you for coming along for the ride. If you've been one of the faithful viewers that have watched so often, thank you for hanging in there and helping be a part. Again, if you missed yesterday's Who's Posting Content at Americans uh, from Overseas, you need to see that. I will also include that link as well. Thank guys so much for being along for the ride, and I will talk to you next week. <laughs>